A Vermont principal who spent 20 years working with middle and high school students used that experience to write a real page turner. And now his novel is up for one of the top literary awards in the country. Allison Novak at Seven Days. Who is this author and what is this book? So his name is Ken Cotto. Um, he is the principal or co-principal of Oxbow High School in Bradford and a longtime teacher and administrator. And this is his first novel. It's called Gather, and it's a young adult novel that's told from the perspective of a Vermont teenager um, who lives in a rural area of Vermont named Ian. And um, Ian finds a dog one day a dog comes out of the woods and kind of becomes his constant companion and accompanies him as he faces a lot of struggles and hardship and um, situations in his life that he has to navigate. Um, and yes, this book is up for a National Book Award. It's one of five finalists um, and um, it's very exciting. Yeah, so tell us about the National Book Award. If people don't know how prestigious this is. Sure, yeah, so the National Book Award is given out in five categories. So there's fiction, nonfiction, poetry, um, and his particular category is young people's literature. And so he is one of five national finalists for this award. Um, and the ceremony will happen tonight in New York City. Um, and he will be there and um, yeah, I'll be watching. We'll see if he if he wins the award, but I think Win or lose, he's still he's still a winner and being a finalist. <laughs> Absolutely, no doubt, and we're rooting him on. Is the book based on any of his previous students? So, you know, he's been teaching and been an administrator for around 20 years, and he said he was very careful not to make the book based on any one student. He actually had some of his coworkers read early copies of the book to make sure that Ian, the character, um, the main character of the book, didn't remind them of one specific student. But because he's taught for 20 years, he's, you know, worked with hundreds of kids. And so he has kind of said that the book is kind of, a, or Ian is kind of an amalgamation of many of the, uh, many of the teens that he's taught um, in his career as an educator. He took a unique approach to writing this book. Tell us about that. Well, it's interesting because he actually had the idea for this book more than 20 years ago. He was getting his master's in fine arts at Dartmouth in creative writing, and he became interested in hunting camps and kind of the rich stories that um, different generations of, of men told at hunt, in hunting camps. And so he had this story um, about this idea for a story about a boy who likes to hunt, who meets a girl whose family has bought up land um, and posted no trespassing signs. And he let that outline kind of sit for about almost 20 years. And then in 2019, he picked it up again and just kind of started writing. And the book kind of just came out of him. Uh, did you read it? If so, your take. I did read it. And that was one of the reasons that I wanted to interview him. I thought it was a wonderful book. Um, his older sister described it as kind of a classic book that'll kind of just get into your heart. And that's that's how I felt as well. It's a very unique book. Um, the story is told in a very unique way. It's very meandering, it's non-linear, um, but the character of Ian is just such a strong voice and you're just rooting for him as he encounters all this hardship. And I think being based in Vermont, it's just like has that extra layer of relevance to you know people who live here. And um, yeah, it's a, wonder, it's a wonderful book. I can't wait to read it myself. Your story about this author and this book is out in seven days. Allison Novak, thank you, be well. Yeah, thanks for having me.